I've called this video the fear of God, but I could have called it the fear of death. I am dying. I'm 70 years old and physically I'm having a lot of problems. My heart, my chest, my hips, hernias. I know I'm, I'm dying. There's two ways to die, physically or mentally. You can be like Joe Biden and be a total cabbage. And I, I said to my daughters, if I get as bad as Joe Biden, put me in a wheelchair and took me off the nearest cliff. I've had a good life, but I have witnessed a lot of people dying, men, women, and children. A lot of people die in agony because they've been shot or burned, things like that. And then they go into uh, unconscious and then they die. Dying is like when you go to bed at night. You go to bed and you dream. Your brain's still working and you dream. I like dreaming about sex. It's much better than dreaming about war and uh, horrific things like that. So one's like a nightmare and one's a pleasant dream. So I like the pleasant dream. Then you go into a deep sleep where your brain actually works to the minimum. Tick, tick. You can't remember the deep sleep because your brain's not working. That is death. If you wake up in the morning like I did this morning, I go, right on, fucking good, good. I got another day. So I'm going on a day by day basis, but I, need, I know one day I'm not going to wake up. But that is death, nothing to be frightened of. Now a lot of people, especially old people, turn to religion because of the fear of death. And religions work on this, that that fear that you've got of dying, they manipulate. Just like uh, Hitler manipulated children to be Nazis and socialists. Give me a child and I can turn them into anything. Religions and cults and religious uh, political organizations, this is what they want children for because they can manipulate the children and then they have blind obedience to the religion or the political ways of thinking. Blind obedience. They don't look into their own religion out of fear because they can be condemned by the religious leaders. If you decide to leave the Muslim faith, it's okay for another Muslim to kill you. If you don't accept communion in the Catholic Church, they say you're going to burn in hell. It's all fear, all working on your emotions, that one day you're going to die and you're frightened of dying. I was born pure innocent, like all of you. And then one day, your parents or guardians put you into one of these religions and cults. I was baptized in the Church of England, a Protestant. But when I looked into the Church of England, the only reason for its existent, existence was the fact that Henry VIII wanted a divorce and the Pope wouldn't let him. So he kicked out the Catholic Church and made himself the Pope and the Church of England. What a good reason to start a religion. Then I've had a lot of problems with the Catholic Church. My wife was a Catholic and we had a horrific time trying to get married. So after what I witnessed in Northern Ireland, Catholics killing Protestants, Protestants killing Catholics. I decided not to baptize my children. I let them decide their own fate and whatever religion they wanted to be or whatever they wanted to be, communists, right wing, far left, 
It's up to them. You shouldn't, as an adult, put a stamp on your child to say he's a Catholic or a Protestant or a Muslim. But that's my way of thinking anyway. So, you baptize the Catholic and the fear of God is put into you. Blind faith is put into you. Are you frightened at looking at your so-called religion? Thou shalt not kill, love thy neighbour, all that stuff. Right, you can go back to the Spanish Inquisition where you put on a rack, your joints are forced apart, your bones are broken into a confession that you weren't a Catholic, weren't a good Catholic, or you were being a bad boy, a bad girl. But the Catholics and the priests condoned the torture. Torture. You could be sat on a what they called a horse, which had a like a sharp spike in in the middle, men and women, very painful. You try stand, just sitting on a horse, never mind the one with a spike on it. And yeah, that's fucking torture. So you go all the way back to the Spanish Inquisition. Go back to the First World War. No, Second World War. Let's go back to Second World War. You've got the church, the Catholic Church, protecting Nazi war criminals. They give them their passports and documents so they could flee persecution for their horrible crimes. And many and many escaped to uh, Spain and South America. The church knew what they were. They give them the documents. Then you look at Yugoslavia now. In the, in the days of the Second World War, it was called the uh, Croat, Croats. And uh, the country was organized with the German Nazis and they were fascists. Again, the Catholic Church was prominent. They stood side by side with these fascist lunatics. They had a, a prison camp. Let me try and... Jasen Ovak. I'm not Yugoslav, so excuse the uh, translation. So that was a concentration camp. Even the Nazis thought it was barbaric. Here's the Nazis putting them in gas chambers. But what the uh, Ustaz, Ustaja, Ustaji was the uh, uh, fascists of the Croatians. They had a knife, a curved knife, on a wooden handle with a leather binder so it strapped the arm. That comp competitions, how many throats they could cut of men, women and children that were either communist, Jew, or uh, Serbs. Anybody that wasn't a Catholic could get have their throat cut. And I had competitions. One guy did 1,100 in a day. Good Catholic, good Catholic. Some priests actually carried out the executions as well. And they tried to convert them and turn them into good Catholics and then they still cut the throats. These people all escaped with the help of the Catholic Church. You get my drift? You're calling yourself a Catholic and these, the Pope and everybody else, that priests, priests raping children, priests raping nuns, helping uh, right-wing governments killing communists and people like that just because they didn't believe in the Catholic Church. 
Where's the logic in that? Is that what God wanted? I don't think so. You even look at the Muslims. A suicide bomber. Blows the shit out of yourself. All the fragments going everywhere. Some into Jews, some into Christians. That's what they want to kill. Then, but Allah has condemned these people because they're ISIS has been virtually defeated. So that was the will of Allah. And I'm quite sure if there's a paradise for Muslims, Allah's going to say, there's 50 virgins. Oh, you've blown your cock off. That's your problem, pal. So if there's a God or an Allah or whatever, and you believe in all that shite, right? That's up to you. But love thy neighbour. You have nothing to fear about dying if you're not a bad person. Live as a good person. Obey the Ten Commandments, which were rules by a clever person to organise a society. And these rules are in most religions. But the religious leaders don't obey their own rules. So, anyway, put in the comments what you think about religion. If I wake up tomorrow, I'll read them. Bye for now.